Tonight, a closer look at the kidnapping capital of America. It's Phoenix, Arizona, a city in the grips of a new kind of terror as Mexican drug cartels spread violence across the border into the southwest. Phoenix had more kidnappings last year than any city in the world, except for Mexico City. And even with one abduction a day, Phoenix officials say Washington is ignoring their plight. Here's our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. A call for help from a kidnapping victim Mina. in Phoenix. Mina, they got the gun to my head right now. I'm taped up. And please, tell my kids I love them. Don't tell them get to the bank right now. Give them this money. I'm you know, I love all of y'all. I'm about to die. Neighbors in this quiet Phoenix community had no idea what was happening inside this house, where drug dealer Ron Guilford was trying to collect a ransom of $2,500 from a rival. I have dude in my bathtub right now. Okay, I have him duct tape. I'm about to cut his hand off. Which hand would you like? Left or right hand? Okay. The left or right hand? Pick one. Police rescued him just in time. A crime rarely seen in most cities has become an almost daily event in Phoenix, now the kidnapping capital of America, with 370 kidnappings last year alone. Phoenix is in the eye of the storm. Uh, and if it, if it doesn't stop here, if we're not able to fix it here and get it turned around, uh, it will go across the nation. Officials in Texas and California are beginning to see the same pattern as Mexican drug cartels send their operatives across the border to claim territory or settle scores. Local officials say Washington has been too obsessed with al-Qaeda terrorists to deal with the problem coming from Mexico. And they forget about uh, another kind of terrorist, uh, kidnapping terrorists, extortion terrorists, drug cartel uh, terrorists. Police in Phoenix have had to set up a special kidnapping squad. We're trying to get patrol officers out to that scene as fast as we can. And on this day, there. Sergeant Phil Roberts had his hands full with three suspects in custody and a search on for this kidnapped victim. Almost all of my detectives are on overtime. I've got two SWAT teams out, and our victim's probably being brutalized. He's probably being beat up and tortured. Hours later, a break in the case, and police move in, arrest two suspects, and free the victim. You can see he's all tied up. Um, rolled him over. You can see the duct taping around his mouth. Looks like he's probably got a broken nose. As in most cases, the victim is an illegal immigrant from Mexico, later charged with possession of drugs. Whether he's a drug dealer, coyote, legal, you know, resident, you know, citizen of the United States, doesn't matter. And we saved a human life tonight. We absolutely saved him. Because if we've not done this, more likely than not, he would have been killed. In some cases in Phoenix, the drug kidnappers have hit the wrong homes and even opened fire in neighborhoods full of children, Charlie. It's a real terror.